Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 54. Now I can't believe we've got this far into this series of videos without having a proper look at how autograph can handle the transformations of functions. So to rectify that we're going to put together a trilogy of videos, the functions trilogy. In this first video we're going to look at how you might want to use autograph to introduce functions. Next week we're going to look at a little twist where you can actually get just the function that you're after and the week after that we're going to have a look at a little activity that I like to do with my students called follow the point. So let's get cracking with introducing functions. Now I've just opened autograph in standard mode, not done a single thing here and to enter a function on autograph it's this little button up here, your FG button, if I just hover over there, function definitions. So you can define your function to be whatever it is. Um, I'm going to go for a nice little quadratic that cuts through some uh, nice points. So I'm going to go for uh, x minus 3 and x plus 2. Now when you click OK, absolutely nothing will appear on your screen there because you haven't actually told Autograph to plot an equation. So let's rectify that now. If I go to Enter Equation, instead of typing in the equation that I want, I'm going to tell Autograph that I'd like it to plot y equals f of x. Now it depends uh, what how you're running the lesson here. If you're going to tell your students what the function is, you can then have the discussion about what points it goes through and all that. But if you're just setting this up beforehand, then just click OK and there it is. Now uh, we need to just our axes a little bit to get this sorted out. If you're dealing with quadratics, this is probably the one time that I like to take equal aspect mode off. I always keep it on wherever possible, but with quadratics you tend to need a bigger y range than an x range. So I'm going to take that off and just adjust my axes a tiny little bit. I think I'm going to go from, let's say, minus 10 to 10. Let's have a look what that looks like. That's not too bad. So there is my y equals f of x. Now I can label that if I want with a text box, so give that a little click, text box that. Um, I'm going to just remove, oh, get rid of this show detailed object text and just leave it uh, as y equals f of x and a bit of ice blue. There it goes there. Now I've got a couple of options here. If I'm introducing functions for the first time, what I might do now is say to the students, okay, I'm about to do the function y equals f of x plus 3 what do you think that may look like and we can have a little talk about points that it may go through what it actually means we can get the scribble tool out if three's been added to the y value each time where's this point going to go is it going to go one two three up and we can put a little ring around it there is this point going to go three up or what's going to happen there and we can develop a load of points when we're happy it's a nice idea to get the old turtle into play here we're going to enter the equation and once again we're typing it in as a function so f of x plus three give that a little click turtle gets uh, sets off he's on a run here will he go through the point that we're after and there is y equals f of x plus three but of course it, as you well know, Autograph has its excellent feature of the constant controller. So why bother just restricting ourselves to numbers when we can bring a few constants into play? So now the students have got the hang of that and maybe we could try in something like y equals f of x minus 4 and so on. We can now double click on this equation and change it to f of x plus a. Now it's always important to make sure nothing changes when you bring a constant in. So I'm actually going to change my starting value of my constant to 3. So the graph will look exactly the same. But what I can do now is say to the students, OK, what do you think is going to happen as I increase the value of A? Is the curve moving up? Is it moving down? Is it moving left? Is it moving right? Where is it going and why is it going there? And then I can show the students that as A increases, it goes up. As A decreases, it goes down. Now, of course, you can set up any transformation this way. So if I give this a little click, instead of having f of x plus A, I could have a times f of x. I'm going to change my constant this time to 1 so nothing changes. Uh, sorry, so the uh, no transformations happened and the blue curve should just sit on top of the red curve. And now I can say to the students, okay, what do you think is going to happen as A increases? Is it shifting up? Is it shifting down? Stretch? Squash? What's going on here? We can talk about it and then when we're ready and only when we're ready, we can allow autograph to show us what happens. And how about if A goes negative? Well, that's where we get our reflection. So there's how you might want to introduce the concept of functions. And you can put any of the functions in there. You can do multiple functions with a, a f of x plus c, single functions, whatever you want. But we'll look at that in a bit more detail next week. Bye for now.